Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rotos Magazine. My name is Kenny McKee, and today we're going to be talking about E85 versus meth injection. Now, before we jump into those two terms, I think we need to learn two more terms. Those two terms are detonation, also known as pre-ignition, and octane. Now, what is detonation? Detonation is when your fuel, rather than burning steadily, explodes. When it explodes, it causes bad things to happen. In a piston engine, you can blow your pistons, you can just destroy everything. With the rotor engine, however, you can dent your rotors, you can blow up your apex seals, you can blow up your side seals, you can blow up your corner seals, resulting in a blown engine. Pre-ignition or detonation is the main killer of most rotor engines. Um, so, before we flip there, what is octane? Octane is the measure of how resistant to pre-ignition or detonation fuel is. Um, so your higher octane fuels are more resistant to detonation. So that's why you, your rotary engines or higher, higher performance cars require premium fuel because you're either running a higher static compression or they're turbocharged or supercharged. So higher compression, higher static compression or, or force induction will require your engine to run higher octane fuels. Now, the problem with higher octane fuels, 91, 91 octane, 93 octane in America, um, is that the fuel isn't necessarily the best at combating high horsepower, uh, high horsepower heat levels. So what we do is we use two systems. There's two main systems that are used. There's obviously race fuels and stuff, but on the street, um, you have meth injection and you have E85. So let's jump into meth injection versus E85. Both these things are used to raise your pre-ignition resistance. They use it and they, they accomplish it in two separate ways. Meth injection uses an external pump and a nozzle and injects a mixture of meth and water into your intake tract, whereas 85 is just an alternative fuel that you run through all your fuel system. Um, now, with meth injection, the main con with it is that the pump can fail. And luckily, nowadays, there's plenty of fail safes in place to actually reduce the damage that can be done or completely stop it altogether. Um, however, when the meth pump fails, if it fails, it can fail catastrophically as in it can blow up your entire engine, it can dent your rotors, blow up your apex seals, do whatever, it can blow everything up. Um, fail safes nowadays can uh, sit in line of, of the of meth injection, read the amount of meth going through, and if it, reads, if it reads something's off, it can pull your timing for you, it can do whatever, it basically helps save your engine, but these things don't always work. You need to be advised that if you're gonna be running a meth injection system, be ready to shell up for a blown engine in the case that the thing fails. Is it likely? No, if the fail safes are in place, but you always need to keep that in the back of your mind. So the main downside with E85 is that E85 is available everywhere and the amount of fuel it requires. E85 requires 30% more fuel than gasoline. And then E85 is also not available everywhere. Uh, so when, if you're a car enthusiast, uh, it's, it, you basically get to map out where you're going to find where the E85 is before you go out for a night or whatever and, and fill up and do whatever you're gonna do. Um, if you're lucky enough to have one near you, cool, but like not everyone has it near you all the time. So. Knowing location and knowing that it's going to require 30% more fuel, knowing especially if you own a rotary powered car, you would already don't have good fuel economy, uh, it's, it might not be in your best interest to run E85 if you're not ready to just have to fill up all the time. Another thing with E85 is that you cannot pre-mix E85 with normal pre-mix. You have to be running E85 or alcohol specific pre-mix, um, otherwise it won't suspend in the fuel and you will have no lubrication qualities resulting in premature wear of your engine. and that's bad news bears, obviously. So, meth versus C85, which one would I choose? Now, this is gonna be an obvious answer if you haven't already figured it out. It's gonna depend on what your situation is. Um, meth injection has been the go-to method for many people before the, early two, before the 2000s era when E85 became a thing. Um, it was the go-to for Japanese tuners. It was the go-to for people in America. It was always the go-to, meth injection was. Um, basically, 85 is cheap man's race fuel. So you really can't go wrong with either one. It really depends on the availability of 85 what your fuel consumption is, uh, what your actual goals are. If you're gonna be running on the quarter mile all the time, that's all you're gonna be doing, E85 is a great option. You're not gonna be driving around, you have to worry about doing whatever, you can just find the 85 put it in the, in the jug and go to the track. Um, but if you plan on driving a street car, um, if you're running like an, a, like an aggressively ported car, we already have bad fuel economy, maybe meth injection might be the best way to go. However, you really can't go wrong with either way. Now, keep in mind, as far as investment go, on the money side, uh, meth injection is typically pretty cheaper than E85 because you're going to buy a $400 to $600 system unless you go higher end where you can get the $1,000 system. With E85, you have to bolster up your entire fuel system. And many people like to say you have to change your lines, whatever, make it E85. Um, that depends on where you sit. I'm not going to get into that debate. But with E85, you do need to run very large injectors. Very large injectors, very large fuel system, uh, very large fuel pump, uh, bigger lines, bigger rails, all that stuff. You need to upgrade your entire fuel system. So whereas meth injection is going to be a $500 to $800 upgrade, 
uh, E85 can be anywhere between a grand to two thousand dollars just to get the car running, and then you have to take into account all the other things. So, when looking at these two systems, um, look at what your what your ideal cost is, what your method is, um, and what what sacrifices you can make. Are you okay with maybe having a pump failure and having to rebuild the engine? Are you okay with having to look everywhere you go before you get gas? Are you okay with buying a special premix, maybe not being able to go out every night? Just keep all these things in mind. Um, but both systems require great care to take care of, but both systems can also make you some great power over time, and I recommend both. Um, me personally, I run meth injection just because of the convenience, um, but I've also run E85 in my, my normal piston cars without any complaints whatsoever. So um, this is a little bit, a little bit dense of a video, a lot of information. Hope you took something from it. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them in the comments. Um, if you have any other videos you want to see, leave them down below as well. I'll, I'll get to them. Um, but uh, this has been Kenny McKee. If you like this, be sure to check out these videos over here and subscribe if you really liked it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.